about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones. Represent Pump Chaser. So guys, you already know, get your Pump Chaser subs. TigerFitness.com. All right, we'll do two scoops of intra pump. We're gonna go ahead and fuck up these legs, guys. Now, people been asking me, what are my fitness goals? Guys, let's keep one thing in mind. I'll be 38 next year. I'm damn near 40, guys. All right, and uh, I've been working out since I was 19. That's almost 20 years of natural lifting. Now, there is a reason why people eventually cross that line and take steroids. Guys, eventually you're gonna come to a point where your results, you know, as far as getting bigger, it's gonna slow down or stop altogether to the point where you're just maintaining and increasing muscle maturity. So I'm at a point in my life where, guys, I wanna just make small improvements on my physique. Now I'm gonna show you a picture right here. This is how I look like I peed in 2018. Okay, and here's some other pictures right here. So to be real with you guys, this physique, and I can't speak for you guys, we all have our standards, but in my opinion, that's a decent physique. That's whole ready, you know? At this stage in my life, I'm focused more on serving others like yourself, providing information, also providing online personal training service, you know, just being a prime example for you guys, leading by example, and of course, making small improvements on my physique. So with that said, guys, we're gonna hit some legs, and I'm just now getting back into front squats. If you watch my video with Samika Cash, that was my first time front squatting in months. You know, I was having some lower back pain and some knee pain, and lately I've been feeling great, guys. Reverse hyper table been helping me out. I've been taking this product, Mark Loblon has sent me, called Motion for your joints. I've been feeling great lately and I'm getting back into the front squats. Now, I know I said in a previous video, if you can't squat, machines are fine. But let me tell you, if you're able, if you're able body, it can touch those free weights. If you can touch those barbells, if you can touch those dumbbells, guys, they're gonna benefit you in a number of ways. Front squats, for me, is the one movement that gave my leg just that little extra, uh, that teardrop muscle, the vastus medialis, that muscle right by the knee. When I started front squatting, that shit came up. That sweep from the side, you know, with the, the regular from the regular from Morris, the uh, vastus intermedius, you know, that area right here, that middle line of the leg, that sweep from the side, when you stand to the side, that shit came up from front squatting. So, me personally, whenever I'm feeling good, whenever my knees are feeling good, my lower back is feeling good, I try to keep front squats in. Now, I don't try to go crazy heavy, unless I'm feeling crazy good, but as long as I can touch at least two plates, I'm cool. So keep that in mind, guys. So I hope that answers you guys' questions. I get DMs all the time about my goals. My personal goals is keeping my physique whole ready to the day I die, and try to make small improvements where I can. You know, a little more real delts. Come in harder next year, and of course, take full advantage of my muscle maturity. Now people are gonna ask me, what about when your test levels drop and stuff like that? We're worried about that when, if, if that time comes, when that time comes. As of right now, I'll be 38 next year, and so far I've never needed any TRT or HRT or none of that bullshit people are promoting online. I think for fun, we should get my blood levels checked just to see where I'm at. I'm actually curious, never got blood work done, but guys, I will worry about that shit when that time happens. You know, but as of right now, never needed TRT, HRT, none of that bullshit, and I'm damn near 40. All right. All right, homies and home mats, you already know. Full routine written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. As you see, get the knees nice and warm, Get some blood into the quads. And now it's time to fuck some shit up. So here we are. We start off with one plate on the front squats. Now, keep in mind, guys, keep this in mind. I'm just now getting back into front squats. So I'm keeping my reps four to six. You know, I noticed 
when I go higher rep, it's easier to break form on freeway squats when you go higher rep. So I'm keeping the reps lower and just focusing on form right now to get myself back into the front squats, okay? Four to six reps is all I need right now. Focusing on technique, focusing on my form, and most of all, focusing on my breathing. Guys, if you're not getting oxygen, the muscles can't do what they need to do. You definitely need to make sure you're breathing properly too. So many people forget that. Breathing is very important. If you like high volume programs, high volume training in general, go to beastmode316.com guys. Get you a high volume program. Right now I'm on the bro split and I'm hitting everything very hard once a week. All right, my two favorite programs or the four days on, one day off in the bro split. Now, if you want more frequency, you want to hit muscles twice a week, try my push pull egg program or my whole ready program. You know, you can hit your muscles twice a week doing that. But me personally, I like very high volume, hitting everything hard once a week or four days on, one day off. In case you happen to give a fuck, all right? I've been doing that for years. So here we are on the last set of front squats. I did one plate, one plate and a quarter. Then I did two plates. Then I finished off with two plates and a quarter. Eventually, I want to touch three plates again, but I'm taking my time, guys, taking my time, letting my muscle memory kick in. And once my muscle memory kick in, I'll push it a little farther, okay? So here we are, doing some sumo deads on the pit shark machine. Now we have a lot of gyms that have machines very similar to this, but this particular brand is called the Pit Shark. This machine comes with a belt you put around your waist to you know, do squats with, but instead of doing that, you can change the handle like I just did and do some sumo deads. Really good for the glutes and the quads, okay? Now here we are on the leg press. Now fun fact guys, you can hurt your back leg presses. If you come down hella deep and you allow your lower back to round, while this sled is coming down, you can't fuck up your lower back. So be careful, make sure your feet are planted on the platform, make sure you're coming down controlled, and make sure you're not allowing your lower back to round so you don't fuck up your lower back on the leg press. People think you fuck up your lower back deadlifting, or you can fuck up your back squatting. You can fuck up your lower back curling with bad form. You can fuck up your lower back doing leg presses. Trust me guys, I've been at a gym a long time. I've seen it all, okay? Just got done doing some single legs. Make sure you get your lunges in, you know, your step ups in, or some single leg leg pressing, okay? Make sure you get those unilateral movements in, okay? Getting those hams in, hands for the mams, lying ham curls. Now we're doing the standard single leg leg curls. Personally, I'm gonna have to be honest with you guys. I feel the standing leg curls much more than the lying, but I like doing both, okay? And here we are, the seated ham curls. Seated ham curls, I have to pause at the bottom because it's really hard for me to feel it. The only way I can really feel the seated ham curls is when I take my time and I pause on every rep. Guys, mind muscle connection is huge. Don't ever forget that. Make sure you're feeling the muscle working, okay? This is the you versus you. You gotta feel those muscles working, okay? Connect with your body. Doing some light stiff legs with the dumbbells. And I'm finishing off by massaging my quads, especially the teardrop, you know that muscle right by the knee, the vastus medialis. If you want that massage gun, I got an Amazon link for you in the description. Be sure to go ahead and get that if you're interested. Bam! All right guys, in the mood for some all you can eat sushi guys. Let's get it, the beast is hungry. What? Y'all see this shit, guys? All you can eat is no longer available. I knew that shit was going to happen. It was too good to be true, Prince. What? Too good to be true. I knew it was just a matter of time because businesses got to make a fucking profit. It just, it won't last long if it don't. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, guys, I had a feeling all you can eat wouldn't last long because their price was just way too low. Instead of canceling all you can eat, I feel like they should have just raised the price. That's just my opinion. But we're here, baby. We're gonna eat good. We're looking at the menu. Y'all stay tuned. Twister. Okay, Twister. But instead of crab meat. All right, homies at home mess. 
starting off with some dumplings. And this is like a fried chicken. Let me try this little fried chicken right here, guys. It looks delicious. Japanese fried chicken. Spicy. It's spicy but not hot. All right, so check it out. One of my rolls just came. Let me get you out of that 360 spin. Let me get you out of that 360 spin. Bam, bam. So as you guys see, it's starting off with two rolls. Might get two more. You know, we gotta get that 30 rolls minimum, guys. 30 minimum, all right? Looks delicious, by the way. Absolutely delicious. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, we got some liver king vibes over here. My brother Prince inside of the order some raw meat. <laughs> what kind of meat is it? This is chuturo. So they have different cuts of the meats are fattier than normal. So all tuna? Straight tuna, but it's the medium fatty part. Okay. <laughs> Not my style. You can tell it's raw. But it's doable. Not my favorite. I like rolls. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and I got one more roll before I go home. That's 30, guys. Keep in mind, at this place, they seem to give you 10 each time you order a roll. So I got my 30 minimum. Guys, eat big and stay small. 30 minimum. Bam. All right, homies at home. Matt's home. About to go to my office. Check out my online clients, you already know. Online coaching, meal plans, and downloadable programs at beastmode316.com. You already know. Tigerfitness.com for the subs. And palmchasers.com. Get your lifting gear, get your ankle cuffs. Ladies, let's build that booty. Let's get your wrist wraps, protect those wrists. Fuck with your brother. 10% off code is Palm 10. You already know. Bruno needs those treats. Go ahead and say hi to Bruno before we close out. I know we can hear him while you hear him over there. All right, guys. Well, anyway, catch you guys later. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and holler back at your boy, Ben.